You might be wondering how we all got here. It all started with this. This was my first painting. I was inspired by this meme for the top picture. For the bottom panel, I was thinking about this documentary I watched when I was in Colombia last summer. It talks about the Anaconda River and the Colombian Amazon. With my inspiration from the ecosystem, I made this panel. I tried my best to focus on the Anaconda River and the areas surrounding it, involving trees and dry lands. Because I have a bird of my own, I wanted to tie in parrots into the theme of the picture. Whether they look like parrots or not is totally up to you. After I was finished with my painting, I decided that it was time to wash the painting off. With this, I made my feelings into art, and I had to let those feelings flow away. When starting this project, the one thing I was sure of was that I wanted to make something to distract me from what was going on around me. I figured that making art in solitary was the one thing I could do that felt like a distraction without feeling like a waste of time. I wanted to challenge myself, particularly because I don't actually have a natural ability to make good art. Despite that, I wanted to give myself a chance to practice something I'd want to better myself in while still giving myself the kind of content I'd want to edit. The top panel is a physical example of what I saw myself as. Confused and sad. The lower panel was to show the mental image that I had in myself for how I felt. And to be honest, everything was exploding that day. I gained the opportunity of being heard by my art. Overall, I felt very distracted by this experience, but in a good way. For the interview segment of this video, I had asked three people these specific questions. How have you been and how have you been keeping yourself busy? Do you feel as if creating art is difficult right now? How's your inspiration? What's the one thing about your art that you enjoy the most? And if art doesn't feel like a good distraction right now, what is? Because I am working less, I am keeping busy in the house. I am writing stories from Oaxaca and editing the photos I took there on my trip in March, just before quarantine. I am doing fine on a website for a nonprofit group that helps nearly 700 children in Oaxaca stay in school. Other than that, I am reading a lot, which is great because I usually don't have the time I want to read, and I'm doing yoga every day and teaching a Spanish class a couple times a week, and I'm studying Spanish online with teachers in other countries. It is difficult to photograph, yes, because of the travel restrictions. I was due to return from Mexico this month to photograph a wedding in an indigenous community, and obviously that is cancelled. An upcoming trip in July will also be cancelled. I don't think it's difficult to be creative, though. Creativity comes from within, and given all the materials, notes, photographs I've accumulated in Mexico, I have time to work with this, and because of the extra time I have, I've begun a project about letters I've wrote to my mother when I was in my 20s. She kept them and gave them to me before she died. I always wanted to make something with them, but didn't have the time until now. Basically, I think inspiration is overrated. What matters is doing the work no matter how you feel. When the news depresses me, not so much the pandemic, but the idiocy of our president and our government, I do something to balance it. I exercise, I read, or I work. When I photograph, I love the moment I push the shutter button. When I write, I love seeing the words appear on the page and fill up the white space. In fact, it's fair to say I often enjoy the act of creating more than what I actually created. To put it simply, he said reading and cooking. There's always Netflix too. I'm very fortunate that I still have my job teaching music. I have to learn how to teach remotely using Google Classroom, Seesaw, and Zoom. It has been a steep learning curve, but is certainly keeping me busy. I love seeing my students in Zoom and in videos they send me each week in Seesaw. The biggest challenge with creating art now is that I'm so busy teaching and other challenges this pandemic has presented. I'm trying to play the piano a little bit every day and have had ideas for new songs, but they are not fleshed out yet. My art allows me to express my innermost feelings. Often I write songs without lyrics because the music expresses my feelings better than words. My distractions are reading, watching movies and good TV series, studying Spanish, hiking, playing ping pong, talking, and FaceTiming friends and family. I'm fortunate that my 26-year-old nephew came to live with me during the pandemic and he makes me laugh and offers me wonderful companionship. I've been keeping myself busy by spending time with my family. I'm sad to be going far away for college, but the silver lining for quarantine is being able to spend this much time with my family. Family is very important to me. I've been watching shows and movies to keep myself busy. I've also been trying to reestablish a schedule. 
I personally don't feel like creating art right now because I don't have the passion to. I can only create art when I have the inspiration or am willing to. I've been busy with schoolwork and personal business that I don't have the want to make art. Surprisingly, I've been inspired. I've also been spending time dreaming about my future, what I want to do, and who I want to become. Art has the power to make me feel calm. Although I have a long way from achieving my artistic goals, I learned that the process of art and design is integral to my sense of well-being and deeply connected to my sense of joy. Having the opportunity to listen to the experiences of my fellow family and friends enlightened me much more than I thought it would. I wasn't expecting their responses to relate so close to my experience. And overall, I am really grateful for how well this project turned out. Without this, I probably would be a lot more lost and a lot more frustrated with how things would be going. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this.